former NBA player Steven Jackson's walking down a very pricey memory lane. As he recalls the time, he called off his $400,000 sure wedding did. day, the day of the ceremony. Now, $400,000 is a lot to lose, but according to his reasoning, he may have lost more if he went through with it. Check it out. It's a month. We're getting ready to go down to prepare for the wedding that week. I'm, she still hasn't signed it. So I'm like, look, bro. Just, well, what I'm, was the argument? I just want to know. It, it really wasn't no argument. She kept saying she was going to sign it. I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it. But kept getting the attitude every time I brought it to her. And uh, I'm glad I had my boys there. They was like, bro, you can't do that. Bro, you work too hard. Like, duh, duh, duh. It's, it's something up. You know what I'm saying? So I called it off. You know, I end up wasting, like, close to 400000 on the wedding. Just wasted. And we end up just, you know, partying. And our relationship never been the same since. Chose door number two. Uh, there are, like, there's know, layers that, yeah, here. That, it's something not... The math not mathing for me. Because here's the, here's the thing here's the thing too too though is like there's a difference between the ceremony and the legal document that establishes you as a husband and wife. Right. right? And so you could have had that whole ceremony and just skipped the part of signing that document and held that off. But I thought don't y'all well people who've been married don't mm -hmm. y'all sign that like don't most people already be married by the time the ceremony happens? Well, what who? They just like, don't know like, yeah, After a wedding, very country, literally, country, country. well, let me, I shouldn't speak out. Well, my sister got married, and I just watched it happen a couple times. Okay, Normally, well, there's a whole ceremony. Everything goes down. Correct me when I get this off. The whole ceremony goes down, blah, blah, blah. But eventually, uh, usually it'll be a pastor and somebody else pull the husband and groom, uh, husband and groom. Right. Husband and well, bride yes. aside. In some, in some yeah. instances, husband and groom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. And yeah. Wife, 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 husband, and, 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 and say, here's the, and then they sign the documents. Mm -hmm. That's how it no. happened. After? That's how it happens so sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it, there's it's multiple a, yeah, ways true. it can happen. That's the marriage license. I think you're talking you said, yeah. He wanted her to sign a prenup. Well, that's what I'm saying. You it's sign like, that before you get married. Yeah, Correct. That, yeah, so but the marriage is isn't official until the license is signed. No, the marriage ain't official until you sign this damn prenup. Then we're going to make it Exactly. That's why you hold off on that. That's question, because I'm like, okay, why is that? that subject down to the wedding day. She still won because she has a baby with him and she, he's going to have to she pay out, you know, child support for the baby, so. <laughs> but that could be like that prenup, though. <laughs> what you could have walked away with. That's door number two. Hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there.